Mortal Kombat 2021 is not a good movie. I'm sorry to say, I'm sorry Warner Brothers, I'm sorry fanboys of Mortal Kombat, it's not a good movie. Non-spoiler review first, and then I'm gonna get into spoilers once I announce I'm gonna get into spoilers. It's not a good movie because the cinematography is lackluster. There's way too many cuts in this film. You just made this? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Let me put it on. Ah, man. Now we got one each. You're sure you're okay? Each dialogue scene in Mortal Kombat 2021 is Face, talk, cut, face, talk, cut, face, talk, cut, 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 cut. Your brain's just going, dude, there's just too many, like, cuts, man. The fight scenes in this film are beyond lackluster. I don't know if it's the director, Simon McCood. I don't know if he doesn't know how to direct fight scenes. Uh, it's just constantly cut, cut, cut. <laughs> Bullshit punch, bullshit punch, somebody gets the upper hand, another person gets the upper hand, cut, cut. It, it seemed like they filmed these fight scenes on like a day's notice, you know? And it's insane because they have great Japanese and Chinese actors in this film and they don't use them to their fullest potential. Another gripe that probably nobody's gonna talk about, everybody in this movie was way too old. The guys who played Scorpion and Sub-Zero, amazing actors, but they are like 50 years old in this movie, and it's everybody knows who knows fighting. Fighting is a young person sport. Fighting is a young man's game. It's it's for young people, man. Father time is undefeated. He kicks all of our asses. Everybody in this movie was like 35 and beyond, and it just seemed unbelievable to me. Oh, and the acting is beyond horrendous. That's, that's impossible. It's not a birthmark, Cole. Means you've been chosen. Chosen? For what? To fight. You got the wrong person, all right? I'm not the fighter that I used to be, okay? I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. It's about the same level of a high-grade pornography film. And I mean very high-grade. I'm talking Brazzers. The constant promotion of this movie saying that we're not going to hold back in Mortal Kombat 2021. It's going to be violent. It's going to be bloody. And the fans will love it. Uh, spoiler alert, there's like one fatality in the movie and it's kind of bullshit. The fights are anticlimactic. It's very cringy when a person beats somebody and they go. Flawless victory. It just seems like there's a huge disconnect between the people who made this film and the video game community who built up the Mortal Kombat franchise. This movie's an hour and 50 minutes long. Let me tell you, it's an hour and 50 minutes too long. They should not have been made. The actors did not seem up to par with the fight scenes. It, I don't know if I said this already, but it, everybody in this movie just seemed unathletic. Like I said, they're too old in this movie. This movie should have been casted with just pure 20 year olds. The only people that were correctly casted were the actors that played Liu Kang and Kong Lao. Those two actors are perfectly casted. They were good in the movie and they're a, they were age appropriate. Mortal Kombat 2021 is a miss. They introduced this new character, Cole, that's never been in the video games. He He's this family man that we follow throughout the whole movie. Let me tell you something, he's the worst actor in the movie. It's not putting chops down on the actor who played Cole. I am a big believer that it is the director's job to make the actors do good acting. So I'm not gonna blame the actor of Cole, but since he was in the whole movie, it was pretty horrendous to see his acting chops throughout the whole movie. They were garbage. If I had to give this an honest rating, I'd have to give it a three out of 10. Three, just because A for effort, they tried their best. 
it, it it seemed like they had money behind it. A lot of set locations were reused. Like in the beginning of the movie, you see uh, Cole as a cage fighter. And then at the end of the movie, they go back to the cage fight. And then the same thing with Sonia's character. She lives in like some, she's, Sonia's like some trailer park trash girl hiding out as like, cause she's like some secret, whatever, soldier. And then they go back to her location. It seemed like Warner Brothers was being a little cheap on the budget. But again, I'm just nitpicking at this point. Three out of 10. Watch the original Mortal Kombat movie that came out in 1995. That one was at least decent. It's, ve it's very comical watching it like, 30 years in the future right now you can watch and just take apart that movie with your buddies if you watch Mortal Kombat 2021 with your buddies you guys are just gonna be bored you're gonna be on your phones you're gonna be going yo I when is this movie gonna end it's just it's just you can't even make fun of it not a good movie would not recommend it do not waste your money do not waste your time don't get HBO Max to watch this movie if you're gonna get HBO Max, at least get, some, get it for something for like the TV shows or the new Godzilla vs. Kong movie. That was really good. Skip, skip, skip. Now we're gonna get into spoilers where I fucking pick apart this movie. Everybody was an old fart in this movie. Okay, I get it. A couple months ago, I made a reaction of the trailer of Mortal Kombat and a bunch of keyboard warriors came for my head. Now, a bunch of these bitches won't say this shit to my face, but I did do my research and I did acknowledge the community by saying, hey, the actor that played Sub-Zero, the actor that played uh, Scorpion, they're really old school, old time, uh, Asian actors and then really good look into them and I did they're really great actors both of them But they're like 50 years old playing like action stars yeah, and I'm just like it's unbelievable They don't seem in shape There's way too many cuts in this movie and if anybody knows action scenes if you're cutting on action scenes You're trying to hide something when you watch a Jackie Chan movie when you watch a Bruce Lee movie You're seeing long takes big scopes so the Actors can show off their martial art chops. Every, there's just cut, 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 and it, they're doing this because there's like old dudes trying to fight and look cool. God bless them, but fighting is a young man's sport, like I said. The actress that played Sonya Blade, she just seemed unbelievable. Like, what? Like, I'm watching this movie and I'm going, like, I don't know if it's because of her posture, like, she had just like this hunch on like when she acted. I don't know how to explain it, but like, She's a great actress, but I just do not believe her fight scenes like she just doesn't seem like a fighter And I know keyboard warriors are gonna say again, these are actors and actresses. They're not supposed to be fighters. Man, shut the fuck up. Explain John claude Van Damme. Explain Jason Statham. Explain Bruce Lee. Explain Jackie Chan. My, the list goes on and on and on. Listen, if you're an actor playing in a martial art movie like Mortal Kombat and you can't do martial arts, let me tell you something. Don't be in the movie. There's plenty of great martial artists that can be in these movies. A la Michael J. White. Great actor, great martial artist, can do all his fight scenes and techniques with, without having the director, the editor, cut, cut, cut after every kunk, kick or punch. The dude can fight and there's plenty of other actors. The pacing of this movie was just way too slow. It's like, all right, action scene comes, then long exposition to get to this place. Action scene goes, long exposition to get to this place. I don't believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think there was a MacGuffin in this film, which was, I guess, cool. There was no sense of like, we need to get this, we need to get this, to this and that. It was just, they're just recruiting people for a tournament. It's recruit this person, recruit that person, go here, recruit this person, exposition, exposition, exposition. My name is this, my name is Raiden, I'm the leader of the Earth Realm, and, the, and you're just watching this, just going, shut the fuck up, just fight. 
Just fight. The disconnect between this movie and the video game community will be insane. You know, I will be I will be very surprised if this movie actually does really great in the box office and they continue with the sequels. Simon, whatever the dude's the director's name, clearly does not know what he's doing when it comes to an action film. Warner Brothers, you fumbled the bag. I was so excited about this movie like 10 years ago when it was announced that James Wan wanted to direct this movie. James Wan, the director of Saw, James Wan, the director of Aquaman and the Conjuring series and all these scary movies. He's a great director, but they, Warner Brothers took too fucking long to make this movie. James Wan lost interest and he's just, all right, I'm gonna just produce this movie and just hire any hack to do it and then Warner Brothers will see how you do. And then look what happens, this piece of trash movie. This up. Uh, Pointed. Everybody in this movie did not do a good job in their acting. The comedy was just off the mark. The only suitable guy in this movie was Kano's character. He see it was like some Australian actor who just tried, but the writers of this movie just fumbled the bag. It, it was just cringy boomer comedy. Top knot. The end. What's his name? Kung Pao. Pass us a fucking egg roll, would you? Well, no, he's here, your ears painted on, mate. Egg roll. There you go. Good boy. I hate to say it, but you see a big difference between action movies that try to do comedy like Guardians of the Galaxy, and then you see this movie, and you're just like, it, it, it's just that the comedy marks just miss the miss the mark, dude. Like, it's not funny. I, 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 huh, two times in this movie. <laughs> Man, man, man. I really came into this movie going, I hope it does good. I hope, I hope everything I, I saw in the trailer was wrong and this movie just hits me off the nail. The CGI in this movie was 2002 level. Goro looked fucking cartoonish and the bloody fight scenes were blood splatters everywhere was just CGI garbage mess. You want to see good blood splatter from like almost a hundred years ago? The knife slice looks way better in that black and white film, but it looks garbage in this 2021 film. If I had a bet, I'm pretty sure the fanboys are gonna make this movie a decent amount in the box office. And, and a lot of people are just gonna have mediocre standards for trash like this. I, I can't believe it, you know? People would love to see garbage films like this and stand for mediocre films. They don't wanna see a great director. They don't wanna see a great filmmaking crew with passion for a film, with passion for the lore of Mortal Kombat, to see it do good, to see it be great. And they just stand for mediocre stuff like this i'm very disappointed it's not that i hope it doesn't make any money because i don't i don't know how i feel with that my opinion scrap it wait another couple years and maybe somebody else with some passion i'll come with it i know for a fact i would do a way better job making this film than this guy simon mcquade but what am i gonna say don't watch it, don't waste your time. You'll have a better time watching the YouTube clips that people are gonna start to upload of the fight scenes and You can be a judge for yourself when you watch those. They're not good. Let me know what you think down in the comments if I ranted too much, but hey, somebody's gotta say it. Take care, God bless you, and hopefully Warner Brothers sees that, hey, uh, somebody serious needs to take over Mortal Kombat. See you guys next time.